What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to episode eight here on the All at Sea Group Build. We're back on the A6M2N, and that's right, guys. Today, we're going to go ahead and check out our resin. Now, last episode, we mixed up a nice batch of resin, dropped a little bit of clear blue, a little bit of clear green, mixed it up. We went ahead and laid it down into our mold, and today, we're going to go ahead and check this out and pull it out of that silicone, see what we did. Now, the resin is amazing stuff, I got to say. Props go to Art and Glow. I have about a third of a bottle of the hardener and the resin itself, so I have a little bit extra, which is nice. I can't re-pour this whole slab, but I have some extra for other projects, which is very cool. Moving on, we are going to take side by side, inch by inch, and just slowly, we're just going to remove the silicone mold away from the resin. Now, I let this dry for about maybe 30 hours or so, just to be on the safe side. And this thing dried rock hard, guys. It honestly feels like glass. It's very, very cool stuff. So we do have a little bit of spillage around the ends of the mold. That's okay, though. I should be able to clean that off. Maybe an X-Acto knife, or I could just dremel it off. Shouldn't be a big deal. Looks like it is popping out of the mold very easily. A little bit of cleanup there, as you can see. But let's flip it over. <laughs> wow, look at that. Well, it worked. Um, I'm surprised, but it worked. We have a nice rough sea looking base, very choppy looking water. We have a little bit of tinting here and there with the blue and the green. Very, very cool. And this is solid, guys. This is not going to go anywhere. We do have a little bit of imperfection inside each of the float cavities, but that's okay. We can dremel that out. Looking good. Now, speaking of the aircraft here, let's go ahead and check out how this actually sits inside the mold. Go ahead and line up the floats and just press it down inside. Okay, we are a little off here and there. It looks like there's a little bit of resin that's kind of bled into the openings. That's okay. We can just dremel that off, but you can kind of get an idea of what I'm going for. We've got that bow wake right there. We've got the one float dipping into the water. The other one is elevated out of the water. Has a little bit of action, a little bit of movement without actually having to move. So yeah, awesome. But we will have to go ahead and clean out the inside of both of these openings just to make sure these floats sit down inside them a little bit better. Otherwise, you just sit on top and doesn't quite look as realistic as I was going for. So that's awesome, though. This really has turned out beautifully. Now let's go ahead and get out the Dremel, and I'm just going to throw a quick bit into there, probably some sort of a grinding wheel, maybe a cutting wheel of some sort. And we're just going to go to work on this and get all of the imperfections smoothed out so we can get these floats right down inside these openings. As long as you take your time, guys, you go step by step, go ahead and do a little grinding, fit the aircraft, do a little more grinding, check the aircraft again. This worked out beautifully. So let's go ahead and give it a one last final test fit. And already I can say this is a hundred percent better. So it fits down inside. It looks like it's a bit more submerged. That's what we're going for. I mean, for my first time, this is not half bad at all. I will have to do a little bit of other work with the resin. Good thing I have a little extra left over because we're going to have to kind of fit some liquid resin around floats. Maybe go ahead and cover up a few imperfections, but we're looking pretty good, guys. 
Now, this water base itself is quite transparent. It's not perfectly clear because I did tint it a bit, but as you can see, you can actually view things through the water. We don't want that to happen. We want it to have an appearance of kind of murky, deep water. So I thought about maybe doing something kind of dark underneath this, maybe some sea blue or something like that. And I think that might be the way to go, but we need to go ahead and do some detail painting on the backside of this water base. Now for that, I plan on using a couple different colors and I'm just gonna airbrush some fun random patterns. We've got our Tamiya Sea Blue, that's gonna be really fun. We've got our Tamiya Green, which I can use for a little bit of contrast, maybe in some of the lighter parts. And we have some basic intermediate blue. This is what I used on my Ventura. So we're actually looking pretty decent with these three colors. We're just gonna mix them up in the airbrush. We're gonna start off with the medium intermediate blue. And we're just going to start tracing patterns here and there, just having fun with it. We want to give it the appearance of having depth. So let's go ahead and just see what we can do. Mix up some paint and just have fun with it, right? I mean, this is completely random. So let's just go ahead and give it a shot and see what we can get done. All right, everybody, we have finished our water base airbrushing. As you can see, we've got this cool clouded mixture of green and blue and sea blue. I like how it looks. I think we are on the right track for sure. Now on the wooden base itself, I need to figure out what color to prime the top of this. I know the dark color would actually kind of bring more depth to it, but a lighter color might be exciting to see. I don't know for sure. We'll have to come back and play around with that. Let's go ahead and fit the aircraft here to the base and just kind of get an overall impression of what I'm going for. Yeah, look at that. Now, I'm not sure if this is 100% what I was going for, but you know what? I'm rolling with it. It's not perfect, but I think it'll work fine. Now, we're going to have to go ahead and do a little bit more work, though, on the water. We need to go ahead and give some white caps to each of these waves, do some dry brushing on that. I also have this here, this gloss gel. I saw this on Skeleton's video. I might want to try to go ahead and give it a little bit of texture there. And of course, we have some of our resin material that we can use to kind of fill in underneath the floats and over top of the floats. This side float here, I want to make sure that's mostly covered with some nice clear resin. I've said before, I've got plenty of resin to go ahead and mix up a batch to kind of pour over different areas and to kind of make it look like maybe some water is coming up over the float right here in the front of the nose area here. And then, of course, I can take some on this wing float here, kind of spread it out over that, make sure it's kind of got this wake appearance kind of this trailing water effect and then the back of the float i mean there's a lot of stuff i can do with that but we've got to get the airplane done first though so we can't do that quite yet now while everything is kind of drying and setting off to the side i thought i would turn our attention to the last thing we're going to do today and that is just a quick cleanup and a future coat here on the clear parts these clear parts look pretty decent but i do want to go ahead and drop them in future just to protect them because i will be doing a lot of manhandling on this aircraft so let's go ahead and do some cleanup and then we'll go ahead and drop them into future and get these ready to go for next episode.
All right, everybody, we are finished up for today. Our resin base is looking beautiful. We've got our paint on the underside of the water base, and I honestly love how it looks. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. We have our clear parts here all dipped in future. We'll let those dry for about 48 to 72 hours, and then we'll be able to come on back, mask these up, get some paint on those, and just go from there. Lots more to do, guys, but we are pushing forward, and honestly, I'm having a blast. So until next episode, everybody, hope you guys are having fun with your builds. Do yourself a favor, get out there, get some bench time, relax, have some fun, build something crazy and cool, and we'll see you back here on the next episode of the All at Sea Group Build here on Ben Builds. Thank you so much, everybody, and we'll see you soon.